Oh, hello everyone, I'm back with the episode 9, part 3 of our Flutter tutorial series. This is the third tutorial for motivational code app. In the part 1, we have added the background image, and in the part 2, we have blurred the background image. And in this part 3 video, we are gonna add frosted glass effect to our app. So, let's get started. Here in previous video, we have container with a decoration image and blur filter. This container is a child of this sack widget, so we can overlay this container by another widget, in this case a rectangle. To do that, instead of the center widget, I'm gonna add another container widget. Now this container is covered the whole screen, so to get our desired size, let's add width and height, width is 250 and height is 150. Without a color, we cannot see this container, so let's add black color with 0.5 opacity. For that, we have to use decoration property and value is new box decoration. Open and close bracket, add a comma inside it. Here, we need color property and value is colors dot black dot with opacity function. Argument is 0.5. With opacity gives us frosted glass effect. You can change this uh, double value between 0.0 to 1.0. 0.4 is good for me. Let me show you the outcome. Okay, now to get this container to the middle of the screen, I'm gonna wrap this container with the center widget. Auto reload. Okay, cool. You can see this as a rectangle, but actually it's not a rectangle. To make it as a rectangle inside the box decoration, add shape property and value is box shape dot rectangle. Now Flutter identifies this container as rectangle. Okay, now let's add box shadow and some rounded shape to this rectangle. To get rounded shape, we have border radius property. As a value, let's create an anonymous object of border radius class with a circular name constructor. We have to pass double value. That means how much radius we want. 10.0 is enough here. To add box shadow, we have box shadow property. Accept list of shadows. Uh, so inside square bracket, let's add one box shadow. This constructor has four properties. First, let's add the color colors dot black 26 and let's add offset property this is for the placement of shadow so value is new offset open and close bracket this takes double values for x and y components i want 5.0 for both now if you run this you can see the displacement of the same box uh, to get nice uh, shadow we can add the radius property with double value. I'm gonna add 5.0 is enough. Okay, now let's quickly add the text widget. I want the text widget to be centered. Because of that, I'm gonna add center widget and for the child property, add text widget. Text is also black. So let's add white color using style property and text style. Press hot reload. Okay, now even better. Now, if you run this app in a large screen device, you will get a small rectangle. And if you run this app in a small screen device, then this device, this rectangle will overflow. Also, these things will happen when you rotate the device. For this problem, as a solution, we can get the screen with and height and divide or subtract some sizes as we want. To get the screen size and other information, we have a class called media query with its static method dot off we need to pass the context as argument now we can assign this data to a variable type media query data this will keep information about a window as example width and height now using this variable we can get the size and width from it and i'm going to assign this value to a variable width is double my variable name is screen width now for the width property of our rectangle shape, we can use that screen width variable. I want some space in left and right. Because of that, I'm going to divide this by 1.5. Restart the application. 
we should get an error yes of course i expect it to uh, here you can see media query dot of all with a context that that does not contain media query in order to use media query we need one of these two widget but you know we are returning material a widget so what is the reason here you can see we are calling the off method before returning a material a widget because of that this context not containing this material a widget so as a solution we can create a, another class or we can add this material lab widget inside the run app method and for the home property we can instantiate this code app anonymous object now restart the app so i'll show how to add another class and what are the best ways to structure our code in upcoming videos doing all the things in this build method is not the good way because here we don't have readability this code will confuse you sometimes later when you trying to understand this code so i'll show you these things later as the final step of this video let me show you one more problem we have to show you that i'm gonna add a paragraph of text to our child property of our rectangle shape container by press for preload as you can see here text is longer than the height of the container so some text are overflowed so how can we make this rectangle responsive to the text inside it or wrap content of this container there are some solutions uh, we can use column multi child layout since we have one child we don't need to use column widget we can simply use a line widget i'm gonna replace center widget with a line widget and keep remember to remove height property in our container okay this align widget aligns each child within itself and size itself based on the child size in this case take widget size now if you run this you will see that container is big as of well that because we have to use a height factor property with value 1.0 value is double if this property is null align widget will be as big as possible so read the comment and source code about align widget to get cleaner understanding as a final step let's add some padding to get nicer look I'm going to add 15.0 for all sides. Okay, cool. This is still ugly because we have to add some text style. So in the next video, I'll show how to add custom fonts with a different weight to get nicer look. So you can press like button and leave a comment if you have any doubt. As a help for me, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.